All right, welcome to another vlog, folks. We're going to go and get some wood today for the uh, fence that I've got to build in the garden so that baby Frank can't get out. So Gary has taken me down to the wood yard and we'll see you down there. There's our saw. Wait that in now. Right, in we get. Oh! Right. Right, so we're off down now to, what's this woodyard called? Is it Green Barn Timbers or Green Bank? Green Bank, Green Barn Timbers. Yeah, we found them on Facebook and they're very, very reasonable price, folks. So, um, they was doing an offer. We need some shuttering wood and also some um, picket fence stuff to make a, a, a picket fence or picket gate rather. So we're just gonna make our way down to there now and uh, it does look like it's gonna rain. And we're just going around the back streets of where we live at the moment, folks. If you can call them streets, they're not really streets, are they? They're roads. And a lot of you like to see the uh, roads where we live. It is a village, although it's a village that's grown immensely in the uh, 23 years that we've lived up here when we moved up from London back in the year 2000. And uh, yeah, so many new builds now have gone up as well. And a lot of people moving from down south up to Lincolnshire for a quiet way of life. So we're at Green Barn Timbers, folks. We just literally bought a bit of scrap here. We've got this old wood for shuttering for this concrete plinth. Uh, basically pound, paid a pound uh, a length there. But it's mostly the width we want. It's for the shuttering for the uh, concrete plinth. And then coming around here, just looking on the uh, inside, we've got these little picket fence slats. Um, they were one pound fifty. It's a bit rip off, but uh, they don't uh, stock them. They just make them short. It's only rounding the blinking top off anyway. Look. So that comes uh, twenty-seven pounds, twenty-eight quid for nineteen of them, and four quid for that little bit of scrap there because we got that off the scrap pile. And the good thing about his van is, is that you can go under the seat there, walk straight through there. You've got a little trap door at the front here, aren't you? Yeah. Which you flap open, and you're allowed to put wood length, long length, so you can get three meter lengths in there, can't you? Yep. Right, so we're going to put this in, folks. Yeah, look, if you open the uh, door there, you lift the seat up. You can just lift that flap up there. And that shoots it straight away through so you can get the three metre lengths in. That's the idea of ideal having this fan, isn't it? Yeah. You can still use it to carry long stuff. Right, so we've just got to cut them down. Again, we bought these. They're, they're not ideal. Look, that's got a big crack in. That's why it was on the rubbish pile. But uh, again, that one should go straight in. Stick it all the way in, but that's only about two two meter length. That one, isn't it? Yeah, that fits in all right, that one. Go on, then stick the other one through. That's got the rough end. You want to cut it? Turn it around. Might have to cut some of that down. You see? Whack it through. Keep going all the way. That's it. Through. That in? Yep. Plenty of room there. That's gone right in that one. Oh, oh that one's in as well. Look. So, oh yeah, although it's a blinking stealth fat camping van, you've still got the ideal facility to carry long, long bits of wood in, folks, look. Hold on, let's lift that one up. This is a long one. Go on, keep going. There we go. Might have to cut that one down, yeah? Yep, that's all right. Let's cut that one down. The old skill saw here, folks. There you go. I'll see what I'm gonna leave that there. You can have that little bonus. All right, let's sit in. Time, time to go back. Hardware. Hardware to get the hardware, the hinges, and uh, some more screws for fixing to the, the wall. Yeah. There we go. Out in the middle of nowhere. Well, billionaire actually, isn't it? I think it comes under climb, doesn't it? So is it climb? Is it south climb? Is it? Yeah. South or north climb? Where's the golf course? Oh, I don't know. That's North, That's north, north Climb. Is it north oh, I don't know. Happening? But anyway, it's on the main run from um, Tatchell to Sleaford. On the bend there, just past <laughs> just past Billion A turning, this is. Nice little area. Again, all flat. Just like all Lincolnshire land. Well, there we go, folks. A couple of hours later. Just made this gate. There we go, looks alright, doesn't it? 
just stops the dogs from coming into this part of the garden. A bolt in there, look. Made that up. There you go. How about that? Nice little job. Baby Frank can't get through there and the dogs can't get into this area. Because someone did leave a comment saying, oh, that AstroTurf's no good for dogs. No, this is a private playing area for Baby Frank. No dogs allowed. So that's it. I'm pleased with that. So I've got that gate done there. That's just got to be painted up. I think Jimmy and Charlotte were doing the painting of the uh, log cabin around this side. Oh, yeah, look. That's tidied it up a bit, isn't it? So they've got that one there, all tidied. So I've got this gate to build here. Maybe tomorrow with me and Gary. Yeah, so that's it. Get in there. But that, uh, let's turn that very nice. Once that's stained as well, the same colour. I think they'll be pleased with that. They don't know I've done it yet, so uh, there you go. Happy days. Right, so it's evening now, folks. And we're all out here. Jimmy's just bought a new gadget, right? You've got to see this. What you got, Jimmy? Peach ramen. Peach ramen. Look at this, folks. Look. Now. Right, let's whack it in. Pizza, all stainless though. steel. It's a, a stone baked, that is a stone base there. And look, can you see the flames at the top there, folks? Look, now this goes in, listen to this, for how many minutes? Minute, one side, turn it, minute, cooked. Yeah. And that makes two minutes. Hey? <laughs> two minutes. Know. Tracy's just about to add one. Look at that. Mm. Look at that, look. Oh, that's superb. How are you finding it, Tracy? Mm, it's really yummy. Yeah? First mm. time you've had one? Mm. On there, yeah. Yeah. Well, not pizza. I know that. Yeah, we've had pizza before. I wonder if they could do pizzas at the Ragged Apron, your favourite place. Do. They, do. they do. Ragged Apron? They do, yeah, they're very yes. nice. Yes, kept that quiet. I could have had one of those. Yeah, yeah of they course you can. Every day. And what's this you have in here? Look, what's this? Pims. Pims? Go on, Shell, go in. Do you want me to hold you up? No. I need to hold you up. Hold on, look. No. 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 And that's, that's his carer. Oh, that's Sharon's brother, by the way. And his carer over there, Charlotte. <laughs> How many minutes, Jimmy? 15 left. He's got that there as well, look. He's brought that down, look, that boxer, look. That once, believe it. Who, who, how did you get hold of that? Go on. Lee Van Camp. Yeah, Lee Van, Van Camp. 21st birthday. 21st oh, no, what birthday. I'll oh, paint his Trans Am. Oh, that was it, yeah. He painted the Trans Am for him. Because yeah. he used to have. It was some sort of metallic -y black no, colour. What? Oh. Pizza time? Is it really it? Oh, you turn it round after halfway. Look at this, folks. Look. That's after a minute. Look at that. Look. Mm. That is, a, is that a Hawaiian with. Um... It's a veggie. It's a veggie. Yeah, the vegetarian. Because Chris is a vegetarian, isn't he? He's a veggie matic, isn't he? Yeah. No dead animals will pass these lips ever. And the temperature on that at the moment. Oh, just dropped over. It should be yeah, like it's up to about. It was up to 4.50. Literally, they cook. In two minutes. To go to Pudding Mill Lane. I says, it's Stratford. I says, have we been there? I've got one thing. I'm thinking of all these restaurants with nice puddings. Abba. It's bloody Abba, yes. isn't it? What's that? Oh, Pudding Mill Lane? Yeah. We need to go again. Yeah, yeah, Pudding Lane. There is a Pudding Lane where the fire it's started, the Great Fire of London. Place. That's not Pudding Mill Lane, though, is it? That's where um, Abba hey? is. Abba. Yeah, That's Pudding Lane. Says, That's where the DLR lands. Yeah. I'm it's not interested in trains, am I? What's that? <laughs> it's like watch being in a nursing home. Well, you've got bleeding. Look at you, look. Look. <laughs> yeah, me and Jimmy are the only normal ones here, look. Shall you look like the, the carer, because you've got the carer's outfit on. She's, she's the um, porter. And you're sitting there with the three inmates, look. <laughs> <laughs> look at them, look. Look, I'm on duty. Hey, you're on duty. And you're drinking on duty, look. <laughs> Very cold. How long, Jimmy? Come on. About 30 seconds. 30 seconds still on air. Standby studio. 30 seconds. I think we need entertainment for 30 seconds. Standby Hugh Edwards. Not by me. Who? Sorry? Standby Hugh Edwards. Oh, no, we don't talk Best about him. Best reader ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we changed that subject. Is it ready yet? I'm Chris Reader. You've literally, I've not cut none of this, folks. You've seen it live as it happened. Dinner is served. Thank you. This is my Since second, it went in. Is that done? Piece, actually. Out there. Yeah, all look at that. And that was how long for that? Two minutes? Two minutes. This is for Chris Ryan. Yep. Yep. Even the bottom's done. Because it's stone baked. Thanks. Let Thanks him just roll it and we'll get Chris to taste test it. He's scared of fire, Here we go, sir. Cut through. Look. Oh, look. Sharon. He's going in. Look. I can hear the crunch from here. I can hear, hear, the base is done, Sharon. Chris, it's a crispy base. It's a crunch, just like when you tread on a snail. Oh, my God. I hate that. You're a vegetarian. Yeah. yeah. What's that got to do with Right, here we go, Sharon. Right, like Christopher. Mm. This is a late night supper before we put you in back in your cage. <laughs> Lights make me sound like a budgie now. Tweet! <laughs> Tweet! Charlotte, give him his injection, will you? Have you heard my seagull? Arrow! Arrow! 
Unbelievable. <laughs> right, come on, tell us what it's like. Ah, oh, delicious. Yeah? Absolutely delicious. Home yeah. baked stone bakes in two minutes. Work that one out. Never you can't buy pizza taste oh, as oh. nice as this. And where did you get that dough from? Aldi. It was no, just pizza pizza Aldi dough, wasn't it? Not, not, not not ready rolled. You've rolled it out. You, no, you've got to roll it's it flat. Fridge, it? Oh, yeah, fridge. but I mean, it comes rolled up. Of course it does. What does it do? What's, what's it do? What's that mean? <laughs> <laughs> so how do you find it? Normally, Tracy, people leave the crust. Oh, no, I will eat it. Yeah, will you eat it? Look. Mm. Sorry. I'm in. Yeah. And I don't normally eat pizza. I don't normally. Do you want some pims? Do you want some pims, what? Tracy? Oh, it's pizza and pims night. Pizza oh, and please. pims night. Yes. What is the time, by the way? Shall we? Half nine, isn't it? Yeah. Half nine. Nine thirty. Yeah, I want to see the news at ten yeah. with Hugh Edwards. That's not my grandchildren. My screen's. Nine thirty, Sharon. Nine thirty, and we're out yeah, in there, this uh, old derelict piece of garden. Yeah, look, look what? It in there. Look. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, it's 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 a little pet. It's done fired by pellets. Little pellets, isn't it? Where are them pellets? Look. Don't know. Are they rabbit droppings? Pizza fuel pellets, look. Maybe it's like, um, um, yeah, look, it's little chippings. And they, they add a bit of flavour to it as well, look. So you put a couple of scoops of that in this end, Jimmy, aren't you? Yeah, take a look at that. Now, there we go, look. That, they, they, they go in there. They not taste the same as they would do in an oven. Why does it really are, like, and you 100% can put it on your... Eh? He got this off Amazon, didn't you? Amazon, yeah. Yeah, this ain't a product review, folks. This is just like Jimmy's bought. It come, literally come 10 minutes Can I yeah. just Put your hand up, Sharon, before you talk. I must highly recommend this. Yeah, I it's do. Fantastic. Well, like you, Sharon. Well, no, not like you, actually, because you like pizzas. I do I'm like not a big pizza. fan of pizza. I never have been. But I had a quarter of hers, and I wanted another quarter, oh, didn't I? I said, no, she good. said no, and she actually refused me. Well, it's no good for your diabetes. Well, of course it is, Sharon. I'm looking after you. Well, you're looking after me, Sharon, because you're dressed as a bleating carer. Oh, oh right. don't worry about that. Get the insurance. <laughs> anyway, so what I was saying was, before I was rudely interrupted again, is that I know it's a bit of a mess at the moment because we just, we just unpacked it's this area. pizza box. No? Hey? It yeah, it's for French play area, not Jimmy's. It is a bit of a mess. No they've been painting, they've been decorating, Sharon. I've, I've, I've covered all this early on in the video. But all this area here, folks... You've probably seen, those of you who have been a subscriber for a while, this area was totally overgrown. There was a pile of bricks up against there. There was nettles all up here. There was all this. You couldn't see none of this. That was all just weeds. But now, I know it's a bit, got to be stuff, got to be put away. But uh, what, a, what an area he's created here. Look, lovely little area. All I'm trying to do now is to get him to, I know he's painted that, but I want to go around there and paint all that yeah, but I past the fence. fence. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Can't you, get a spray you could you could yeah, paint that as well, couldn't you? Tried one of them. Jimmy at the back, you could paint that. I'm gonna leave that. Why is that then? Rustic. Yeah. No, I think I'll, I'll end up painting it. No, because we can't do these ones here. Why can't you do that one? Because it'll all run through into her bit. Next door. Oh. Door, yeah. Next door. Uh, anyway. Yeah. Anyway. Whose pizza's in now, anyone? No, it's done. Now. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't get this weather very often like this, and there's not a bit of wind in the air. Folks, it's, part, it's, it's absolutely lovely, and we'll be doing this again tomorrow it's night. Lovely, Get the kids out here on pizza night. What's the? I keep looking at my wrist there. Thursday, doing another one? Thursday, pizza night. Oh well, we're all pizzaed out now, folks. Chris has got to be wheeled up to his room in a minute. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Charlotte's got to give him a bed bath. <laughs> Sharon's got to give me one. <laughs> and. Uh, I was just talking about my hair. Uh, a lot of people make comments because my hair was all stiff. When it grows a bit too long, Tracy, mm -hmm. my hair goes longer on one side but flat on the other. It doesn't go longer. It sticks hey? out. It doesn't go longer, it does it? Out. Yeah, well, you, it why, why is that? We've, we, we've worked it out, haven't we? Because it's side you sleep. Yeah, but I, what, 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 do I ruffle it up? Well, yeah, on your pillow. Why don't well, yours do it then? True. Why, don't, why don't true. women's hair do it like that? Because mine's not short like yours. All right, what about Jimmy's then? I've, no, I've, I, my hair grows outwards on the side. My hair grows outwards on hey? the side. I, I, look like, I look like Sideshow Bob when I don't have it cut for two weeks. <laughs> we we was following Bob. him the other day, not like a hedgehog, it was all spiked oh. out. Who's Sideshow Bob? He's a, thing, he's a cartoon character, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. You never heard of Sideshow Bob? I haven't either, Trace. No. I've heard of him, I don't know what he's on. Is he on no. Parkside or something? Not Parkside, what's it called? I've just heard of him. <laughs> Who? I've just heard of it. Does he read the news? Uh, I don't know. No, I think no. he's got Simpsons, isn't he? Huh? So, it could be the Simpsons. Yeah. Oh, Sideshow so Bob. Yeah. I thought he's like a clown, was he? That's it, yeah, that's what Charlie just said. Well, that was Coco. <laughs> no, the, what's the clown in the. Uh, oh, hello. What's the clown in um, Parkside Simpsons? called? Not Parkside, Coco. The Simpsons. Crusty. Yeah, Crusty the clown, that's the one. Yeah, but Sideshow Side Bob, is it? 
No, but he is a character in one of them sort of shows. Yeah. No idea. He's got air Could it be out. South Park? No, he's got air that grows outwards anyway. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, anyway I look like Sideshow Bob. Outwards. Apparently, you don't know, no, you? Yeah. that's what I'm saying. But someone said, "Oh no, shave your head off." Well, shave ben your head off. No, shave your hair off. <laughs> <laughs> ben likes me hair shorter, <laughs> Tracy. Oh, do he? Oh, no, do you know why? No, but it's only because he's got his short, isn't he? Are you trying to please my husband? I'm not trying to please your husband at all. He's hard to please. Tell me. Yeah, you're telling me. Anyway, off it on going back to this short on the sides and a bit longer on top. You'll have to find yourself a barber. Hey. Yeah, well, I know people. You don't know. I do, I know. What's his name, Sharon? Who? Oh, I shouldn't say that to you, should I? I should say, I'll ask you what the name is, because someone said I've got Alzheimer's. <laughs> name of what? This part of our thing, what we do. I'll bring Sharon into the conversation, Sharon, sometimes, don't I, Tracy? You, you know you're talking to me. Yeah, of course I do. <laughs> I bring her in by saying, what's that, Sharon? Because she, otherwise, she's like a little mouse and she don't say anything, <laughs> does she? Well. Who's that? Isn't you, mummy? I speak when I want to speak. Yeah, but you don't speak very yeah, often. You will speak when you're <laughs> spoken to. <laughs> you, you will speak when you're spoken to. <laughs> sometimes I can't get in a word in edgeways. Yeah. Well, you cut me out. No. <laughs> edit. He edits me out. Yeah. You want to see some of the stuff I have to edit out, folks. <laughs> and it? Do you know, Tracy? You've seen some of it, haven't you? Yeah. And it? And you yeah. wonder why I look miserable yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> she comes out with some words. I don't know what words they are. It is English, but... <laughs> They... What you need to put in here is a clip of <laughs> Do you remember the monkey? What was when, that one? When the dog knocked the arm the off the monkey and then you glued it back on in one of your videos. Yeah. And she came out with this very weird sentence. Do you not remember? And I, I think I said, could you repeat that or something like that? What, <laughs> what was that you said? It's and it was words, video. but not in the right order. <laughs> so perhaps I'm not the one they ought to be thinking about. Perhaps it's her. Because I'm saying like that, it's due I... to you. Really oh, baby. Show. What's that, Christopher? Chris Reardon, Reach on Air. <laughs> I've, got it, I've got it both sides. Hey, you got what? I've got it both sides. Unbelievable. <laughs> anyway. I'm job anyway. What job's that, Christopher? You Edward Salt? Oh, no, they never BBC have you. You're, you're, you're not, um, what's the word? Normal? <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Weird. Just a normal night, folks, having a pizza. That's all it, that's all it is. <laughs> Anyway, we'll see you a bit later. It's weird, isn't he? He's not he's trolley, your yeah. brother. He's not your brother, not is he? Brother. No, Jimmy's your brother. Remember. Hey? Remember, it's Mum's brother. Mum's brother. <laughs> oh, well, we're out and about in Skeggy. Maybe Frank's going to go into the um, Sea Life Centre. But he's well asleep at the moment. So James in the middle. James is in there as well. Oh, my God, look, they're all asleep. Look. Well, apart from Emily. She's just woke up. Oh, well, I'll let you wake them up. So yeah, it's a Thursday afternoon folks, and uh, we thought we'd just come down to Skeggy. The weather's actually not too bad, although it's a bit overcast. But uh, I've never been to that place before, Sea, sea Life Centre. Come along with us, let's see what it's all about. Bad ticket, Sharon. Wag it in the car, baby. Whack it on the dashboard. How long did you get it for? Three hours. Three hours, yeah, that'll be enough. Why I want to go and b and b and what for? Get laundry stuff from the car carpet. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look, you've got hair like Nanny. Look when she gets up. Baby Frank. Hello. Gonna see the fishes. Right, let's get going in. Have you been here before, Tracy? Yes. Have you been here before, Baby James? You've been to Skegness before, haven't you? Have you? Time ago. Hey, I've locked it. Yeah. You got the tickets, Mother? Is it ticket place? No, Mum won some tickets. Did she? Here. Yeah. Well, but they're not for all of us. Four people. Oh, me, Mummy. Jimmy and Charlotte. Jimmy and me, Charlotte. Mummy. You got to pay, Tracy. And Jim Oh, that's all right, isn't it? Me. I've got to pay for three children. Yeah. Listen, I pay rent, I'm entitled to. Oh, here we go. I pay rent, he said. You hear that? Look. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, a little bit overcast. Sun's trying to come out, folks, so it uh, should be a nice day today. Frank looks angry. Frank, are you angry? Oh, I've got all spiders hanging off me, look. Look, little spider. There's the old goat carts over there, look. They're not expensive though, shall we? Oh, yeah, about five, well, five pounds, I don't want to be now. And while we're down here, folks, I know I'm on a carb-free diet at the moment, but um, I will be having fish and chips, because I treat this... Relax. No, I treat this holiday, Sharon. We're on holiday.
thing you can come in. This is the way in. Oh, look at that treasure. Look at that. They do like a quiz trail for the kids, folks. So you come into this little first thing and it tells you all about what's going on in here as well. So, interesting, Tracy. Oh my god, it makes me. Talk it makes like you want to talk like that. Arr. Go through, Tracy. I'm going through. On your way through. So you've got all sorts in here. Oh, hello, look at that big window there. What's that there? That'll be sort of. Oh, look, there's a shark there, look. Baby shark. People in there. Hey? Crowd up the step things. People, people in there? Yeah. What, real people? Yeah, real human people. Yeah, yeah. What are they doing in there? You can feed the fish in there, there you go. Oh, I see. But it's cost a fortune. You can actually go in the water. You have to pay for that, though, Cher. Loads of uh, aqu aquatic stuff in here, folks. Now these things, we had some of them. They grow to a big, massive size, they do. There's they bring your rats. Look, 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 my Jane. Oh. The old rats there, look. God, they're massive, aren't they? Yeah. Try and get it. Look, look. Yeah, look, they get through all the little holes, don't they, the rats, look. We won't actually show you everything in here, folks, because uh, obviously, you know, it'll be too long and also, it will spoil the enjoyment if you do come down here, but uh, we're going to have a little walk around round and we'll see you in a minute when we find something a little bit interesting, which we can bring to you. Yeah, look, you, go on, you go under there, look, go under there, go under there and you stick your head up in that, in that dome. Put your head up in that dome, go on. There you go. You're in the fish tank. I think you're a bit frightened, look. Oh, hello, Charlotte's got in there. Oh, that's a big old one, isn't it? <laughs> Where's the shark, baby Frank? Here it comes, look. Wow, baby Frank. What is it? Fish. Say fish. <laughs> look, here it comes, look. <laughs> Folks, look, they swim vertical, look. There's a few of them down here, look. They actually swim vertical. And there's a seal, so look at that, look, you don't see them very often. And they're, um... Are they both sexes, I think, seahorses, aren't they? They're male and female. That's quite good, look. It looks like a sea bed. But it's actually projected onto it, look. Yeah, look at that, look. No matter how much you push the sand, look. Projected onto there. It's great, isn't it? Here they are. Big glass window. Full of fish. Wow, look at that baby, Frank. There's a shark. Look at the fish, look, he's right in front of you, look. Look at this, folks. What an amazing thing, look. I could just put a picture on that. Put, put the, Tracy, just put the uh, camera on the tripod yeah. in front of that, and, and that'd be like a screensaver. Look. <laughs> hey, look at these, folks. Look, the jellyfish are actually transparent, look. And depending what colour light they put behind them, depending on what colour they go, look. There we go. No, it's blue, look. Yeah. Very grateful. Lovely, isn't it? Well, we're just coming out here. This way, it says. This is Jurassic Falls now, folks. Wow, look at this. This is all part of it as well. You've got uh, a large dinosaur. A bit like uh, Jurassic Park, isn't it, Sharon? Yeah. Look at all this, look. Look at Anaconda. I wonder if they're life size as well, Sharon. Quite a large, yeah. Oh, they're absolutely massive. Well, hopefully not that snake. Oh. Well, they probably would have been, shall. You'll get a pipe in that size anyway. Here, look, the old Diplodocus, look, or Diplodocus, however you want to pronounce it, look. There we go. Hey? Yeah, you've got a quiz which the kids can play all the way around, folks, so uh, it's very interesting. Chow, do, chow, do you think they've got that other dinosaur? It's a really small dinosaur. Might be able to, it's called a do you think you saw us? Normally hides in the long grass. The dig. There we go. I know they do move, shall. Well, I don't know what they all do, but uh, just be careful you don't have your head off, Sharon. You find all the uh, fossils in there, look. You see the skeleton, George? you got to dig around the skeleton. I was finding an old fossil over here, look. Oh, that's a cheek. 
Hey? <laughs> yeah, so me and uh, Nanny will just take a seat and have a little uh, a little ponder while the kids have a little walk around this area. It's all enclosed here, folks. Your kids can't get out anyway, so... Uh... Oh, baby Frank, what do you think of the dinosaurs? Look at them. He's never seen them, really, is he? Look. Is that a dinosaur? He's looking a bit worried, actually. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Hello. welcome to Jurassic Falls, here in the depths of Skegness Aquarium. Let me introduce myself. I am Merlin, the talking tree. Dinosaurs grow from tiny little eggs from our nursery into the giant, awesome creatures you see before you today. That's Merlin, Sharon. Now please That's be careful while you wander around this ancient land. Don't forget we have our dig excursion located just behind you, where you can find bones from hundreds of millions of years ago. Well, there you go. That was uh, the Skegness Aquarium, folks, and uh, it was all right. You're not in there for very long, but you can obviously sit down in there and have a little look around, Sharon, can't you? Yeah, 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 but we we just zoomed around it, didn't we? But it was all right. But uh, yeah, definitely one for the kids, I suppose. If you're well, at a loose end. Because I'm a kid. Hey, eh? <laughs> of course you are. Because I'm a kid, Emily. Like right, it. we're going to find somewhere to have fashion chips, and we'll come back to you in a minute. We ain't been the trawlers catch for a while, Sharon, but because uh, it did go downhill, didn't it? It started yeah. off good, then it went downhill, but looking at the size of that fish, you've got the haddock, yeah. I've got the haddock, and also a lot on the side sausage and batter as well. And it has got the skin on. Yeah, the haddock's got the uh, skin on, and the cod doesn't, doesn't, so it's skinless. So tell us what you think of that, Sharon. In you go, baby. It looks crispy. Oh, just batter. Mm. Yeah? Try them chips. Back to being <laughs> back to being good again, is it? Yeah, I'm gonna go in with a sausage and batter first, folks. Nice and crispy, it's a large one. Mm. Good sausage and batter. Again, large bit of haddock here. I'm just gonna break it in on the edge of it as you can see it has got the skin on underneath it's not really a problem for me but I enjoy it don't matter mm. a little bit greasy underneath but I'll take that not a problem chips are quite pale but they are cooked Nice chip. Would like them cooked a little bit more. Let's try this um if you please. Yep, good process P. And the final thing, chili sauce, the uh, curry sauce. Yeah, not a Chinese one, it's a sweet one chip shop one I call that but it's okay anyway we're gonna eat this we'll see you in a minute To let you see folks that George has gone full metal jacket and who else did we see do that on the telly the other day? Matt Masters. Didn't he? In you go boy, full metal jacket. Oh yeah, yeah? Do you want me to hold you up? Do you want me to hold you up? What's that? <laughs> Unbelievable. 
yeah, I've never seen anyone else do the full metal jacket with a put a bit of fish in there, put a bit of a mushy peas, curry sauce, the whole lot. You saw it here first, folks. So how do you find it, Tracy? It's really very nice. But the good thing is, myself and the three children ate for fifteen pounds. That's not bad, is it? And George had kids, um, fish and chips as well. James had chicken and chips, and Emily had sausage and chips. And I had this meal and drinks when it comes with. And, and what did you have? I had the mini fish chips and curry. Right. And it's the, all right. Yeah, and the kids' meals also came with drinks as well. Really? Very, very good. Well, there you go folks, I couldn't eat all my chips, I've left a few of them there. Here's the skin on the uh, haddock, I did take it off. So I did find it a little bit strong in flavour, when I took the uh, skin off, it was fine. So if you don't like the flavour of the, the skin, obviously go for the uh, cod instead. But yeah, nice, it's back on our radar again, it was a little bit greasy, my hands are covered in grease, but um, I'll forgive them for that one, but all in all, good value for money, especially if you've got kids as well. Anyway. We're going to make the move and we'll see you a little bit later on. Well, it's a bit windy today, folks. You've joined us on another day. It's the same week, funny enough. And we're at Horncastle, at, believe it or not, a wildlife centre, where I think we're going to see some bleeding lions. Lions in Horncastle. Look who we got with us today. What have you done I'll to feed you eh? I've done nothing well, well, fantastic, Mum. to feed you to the lions already, and it's uh, only what? No. Nearly we, 11 o'clock. Yes, well, because they're hungry. What did you do? I haven't done anything. <laughs> I'm always the guilty one, folks. Fantastic mum. Project man. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, oh, now you've dropped your blinking lens out of it, haven't you? Yeah, that's what you get for wearing £3.50 Lee Van Camp sunglasses. We're not all like, you know, star YouTubers that can afford expensive sunglasses. What, Lee Van Camp? They were four euros. <laughs> four euros in Benidorm. <laughs> Oh, hello Tracy. Hello, uh, Catherine. Oh, sorry, Kathy. No, no, no. You're Tracy today. You're Tracy today. You want to be Gable still, do you? Well, you're going to be Gable. <laughs> Charlotte and baby Frank. Hello, baby Frank. Well, today, Frank, you're going to see some lions in the jungle. Well, no, all guys are not a jungle, Charlotte, is it? No. Anyway, let's get in. Let's get inside, we'll show you this. We've never been here before, folks. It's all new to us. Oh, we don't need to buy a caravan now, guys. We've got the camper. <laughs> yes? Nothing. Are you ready? Always. you got a family ticket. You've been online, haven't you? Yeah. I just typed in... Um, what is this called? Wolds. Wolds. Wildlife, Wildlife, Wildlife Park in vouchers. the Wolds. Vouchers. Right. And, then, and you got it for £17 for a family ticket, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, instead of about 40 quid, nearly. Unbelievable. So it does pay to go online, folks. Yeah, it's always up for vouchers, guys. So we're going to make our way in and... Uh, See you in a minute. Right, I hope you can hear us, folks. It's a little bit windy today and a little bit overcast. It looks like it's going to pour down with rain, actually, Sharon. Well, there's not places to hide, aren't there? Of course there is. I'm getting there with a wallaby. There are a couple of wallabies over there, look. They're lovely. Cut, a couple of wallabies and a couple of wallies there, look. Hey? <laughs> so, I don't need them glasses on, Tracy, I don't think. I don't think Let's get them off, put them in my old pocket. And uh, yeah, it's it's still they're still I think they're expanding it, folks. So uh, they're always having although it's been open for quite a while, and you can see loads of wildlife here. Yeah. So a lot of these are rescue animals. I was going to say they're all rescue, aren't they? Oh, are they? Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at them, shall look. Oh, they little wallabies. Look, let's have a look at these, folks. A lot of them have been rescued from overseas zoos. You know where they actually overseas. You know, I mean, different countries. Yeah. What Australia? Yeah. Are these wallabies? They are albino. Look, they've got They are albino, Sharon. Look at them. Hello, beautiful. It's like a poor kangaroo, isn't it? Good day, mate. Good day, Sparby. They're all rescue, Sharon, apparently. Yeah, that's what I like about this zoo. Oh, hello, look. He's coming over. Over there, Mr. Wallaby. I would have thought it would have been a bit too cold for him over here. I suppose they adjust, would they? I've got to go and see Puppy, look. Hey? That's what my puppy like was, a big bear, wasn't Wait, it? Oh, we've got a bear here as well, folks. Oh, look at the top. Who would have ever thought that you would have seen this sort of stuff in Orncastle? A little country village in in, uh, Orncastle, uh, in Lincolnshire. Look at these things, folks, look. Oh, look on the cabinet, the, the shed thing up there. Hello. Oh, look, he's a big boy, isn't he? Look. Oh, my goodness. Look, look at him. <laughs> <laughs> go on, Frank. Yeah, Where is he? Where is it, Frank? That bear? Bear, good there. boy! Good boy, Frank, what look. What noise does it make? And all you think is that little oh, thing. Look, got it's got an apple, look. <laughs> oh, 
He's got an apple in his paw, look. Yeah, he's lovely. Look, it's two. There's one laying on the top of that um, shelter back there, folks, as well. Look. Can you imagine, Tracy? Yeah. I mean, sorry. Oh. In the wild. In the wild. In America. Yeah. <laughs> in America, they, could, they roam about in people's back gardens. No, it's crazy that, isn't it? Isn't it? Bit scary. Not sure what I'd do if I come face to face with one. Well, no, you just me, have. You go, just have. Hello, little teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> do you like that baby, Frank? Is that teddy bear? Yeah. Hey. Bear. Lots to do with the kids in here, folks. You've got some uh, arcade games as well. Yeah, you can't quite see the leopard over there. Just over there, you can pay, I don't know if you have to pay for it, but it's like a feeding experience where you can actually feed them with the stick. And I think these ones are Indian leopards in here. What have we got here? Oh, they're blinking hyenas, aren't they? Look at them, look. Look at them, pure hunting animals, they are. Fantastic. They operate in packs, they do, kids. They would, they would surround you and then attack you once they know they've got the upper hand. <laughs> Here he comes, look. Look at them, look. They love it, yeah, you two, they love eating little kids. They would love eating little kids. There we go, got some zebras and camels in here, folks. We won't actually show you everything that's in here because uh, we're getting spoiled the enjoyment, but uh, you'll get a good idea of what it's all about. And if you're ever in Horn Castle, give it a visit. What is it, baby Frank? What is it? Zebra. Uh, that's fun. You can that's a funny lot of animals. That one's got two heads. <laughs> Baby, that's a zebra. I think they're lovely. You think every animal's lovely. What about I do. me? What about me, baby? I'll see when I fed you to the lions. <laughs> you can feed me, shall we? Go down a ragged apron later. And I'm, this time, I'm going to have a salad. There we go, folks. Look at the size of that one. Look. What a lovely old beast that is. Look. Just calmly sitting there, eyeing up all the people here. Look. Yep. There you go. Absolutely lovely beast. There's another one coming over now at the back there. Look. You see him through there, look. They're very territorial, aren't they, lions? A bit like you. You're territorial, aren't you? Of course I am. That's what I mean. You can just imagine someone straying in there. Tracy, they'd be straight on it if someone went in there. You know that? Like a rat up a drain pipe. <laughs> Would you? Here we've got a little capuchin monkey. Well, three of them actually. What are you going to say? Little capuchin monkey. They're cute, aren't they? Yeah. Lovely little things. They're vegetarian, Shia. Yeah. Well, yeah, they've got some viewers there for your channel. Yeah, vegetarian. Well, we've got some vegetarians who might like your food you cook. <laughs> eh? Yeah? Oh, he's taking a wee. Oh, he's having a wee. He's having a waz. <laughs> got a couple of apes here. <laughs> <laughs> some monkeys right over I love monkeys. Say that again, fantastic. There's monkeys, monkeys over there that sit in the window and play with their dinkles. Oh, that's nice. They're not dick dicks, are they? I don't think so. You've seen something in there. Which you, what, what's it? What show us? <laughs> Trust you to find them. <laughs> You've you got a list of I all the animals. I don't know if you can stroke them. <laughs> what is it? Let's have a look. It's a dick dick. 
Only Fantastic Man would come out with that, folks. I have no idea what it is. She wants to know if she can stroke them. someone that doesn't like meat, she's all over the dick dick. What's that? I said, for someone that doesn't like meat, she's all over the dick dick. Of course she is. <laughs> See what I have to put up with, folks. <laughs> and you say it's me with all the innuendos. Yeah, it's a vast area, folks. Oh, here we go. Now, these things can spit at you. These are llamas, aren't they? They're not um, alpacas. Shower, I think alpacas have got a shorter neck, Sharon. you got a bit of neck, haven't you? Of course he is. Yeah, yeah, they do spit. Hello. I'm not going to come too near to him. Oh, they are llamas. Look, it says down there that llamas may spit and bite. Hello. Hello. He's looking at me. These are little goats, look. And they sort of get on well together, don't they, the goats and the llamas? Ain't you a funny little thing, aren't you? I hope you ain't going to nick the muff on my speaker. They are spitters. Oh, hello, look. Shall? He will spit at you. Why did you tell her? Eh? Why did you tell her? <laughs> Why did I tell her? Just let him do it. <laughs> She's used to being spat at anyway. Martin! Not by me. Oh. <laughs> by some of the bleating, sub not subscribe, some of the commenters. They go like, oh. the vicious, some of them. Vicious. You know, have you had any vicious subscribers? Yeah, I just delete them. So do I now. We've got zero tolerance for uh, certain commenters. Anyway, shall the goat's coming to see you. Hey? Go on, shall you talk talking telepathically, shall Yes, I am. I see you. Look, you, 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 there's an aura around you, shall I want a donkey. There's an aura. Look, they should call the donkey over, Can folks. Look. This close. Come on, don't tease me. Oh, we could have one of them in our garden. What, a donkey? Yeah. Do you think Merlin and Dougal wouldn't like that, Sharon? You only come in our garden. You'd be with Merlin and Dougal and Wiggly, then. Yeah. Oh, lovely, look. Um, uh, Evie, look. That's about, that's about a horse to you, Sharon, isn't it? Oh, Is that a donkey? Yeah. Donkey, yeah, it's a donkey. Yeah, donkey. Donkey. Yeah, it's a donkey. Wow, they're coming right up, aren't they, look. What? Aren't they? They're coming right up, aren't you? Are they? Aren't they, they get their head through any little gap, don't they, Tracy? Just remember your head, James. Don't they? Get... Yeah, sorry. They get their head through any little gap. Yes, they do. Did you stroke him? Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, a little sneeze, look. He's got a little sneeze, Elms. He's got a sneeze. That's an alpaca over there, isn't it? That's an alpaca. Yeah, that's a llama. And that's an alpaca. Tracy, I don't know if they've got to push me, pull you in here, have they? I don't get that. Well, that's the thing out of, um, what film was it now? What, what film did they have a push me for you in, folks? It's like a, it's like a, pa a, a, a llama with a head at both ends. Oh, okay. They call it a push me pull you. Tell us in the comment section what that push me pull you animal, what film it was in. I can't remember. Shall? Have a guess what uh, Stace has found. What have you found, Stace? Come out of the way, James, look. She's found the dick dicks, look. Look, I Do you I want to stroke the dick dick, Stracy? I don't know, it looks a bit sharp. Stracy, I called you. Stracy. Stracy. I'm stroking dick dick. Yeah. Right, well, we're going to enjoy our day here, folks. Probably half a day, actually. And um, we'll see you a bit later. We won't show you too much of in here because uh, obviously it'll be a blinking extra long video. So we'll see you a little bit later on. Well, folks, we've had a very, very busy week, as you can probably see, with Tracy going down, or coming down rather, yeah. Sharon. And she goes tomorrow. I just wonder where your mic was. You got it under your jumper. I just, yeah. I thought you didn't have it on. I'll just go have a swig of tea, baby. Right. And we've also had loads and loads of people contact us, uh, send us stuff, buy us meals and stuff, which is unbelievable. We really don't expect yeah. that. Anyway, what have you got first of all? We went down to Ragged Apron, didn't and we? And I'd like to thank Anna Faulkner for leaving us £5 pound for a, a coffee, which was taken and used. Thank you very much. Thank you, Anna. We've also got, um, also left behind the counter for us was uh, money for Martin and Lee. Hi, get yourself a big bomber, love. Arnie, that is Big Boz, shall Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. So, sorry. So thank you very much, Big Boz, for that. I did have a big bomber as well. He did. Lee, Lee did. Yeah, he had one as well. Lee had one as well. So happy days for that and I thoroughly enjoyed it. So thank you very much there. We've also got a thanks from, um, this appeared for you, Sharon, didn't yes, you? Yes, I love them. There you go. This is off my wish list on Empire, but it's Empire. It says, Dear Martin and Sharon, a little present to show my appreciation to you both for all your fantastic videos. I love watching you and your family. Keep doing what you're doing. Love from Pauline. 
And that's two solar and lights. That's Pauline Roberts, so thank you. Pauline Roberts, See, thank I you. I can't grow flowers, I have to have solar flowers. But at night time, Blue. she I didn't realise she put them out in the garden. I thought, what's that light in the garden? And they were both lit up. So thank you very much for that, Pauline. And you probably know that we do like the older MS mustard there, the English mustard there, very strong, nice one as well. And one of our kind subscribers, Janie, Janie from uh, Blackpool. And uh, she says, uh, hi, Sharon and Martin, I saw your videos when you went out to visit Tracy, that you didn't have any, or Martin and Showers, they call it Martin and Showers, M&S, is Martin and Showers, and Showers. we own all that. And we didn't have one near us. And she says she works at m &S, so she thought she'd get some through to us. She said she's, she's one of our employees. So she's one of our employees, that's what it is, isn't it? Yeah. So she <laughs> sent us seven work. jars of the English mustard. Thank you very which much. Which we haven't got one right near to us, so thank you very much for that. That's really appreciated. We've also got some uh, super thanks to thank people for. And uh, we've got Mark Weather Weatherall. Thank you, Mark. And uh, we've got Kathleen Osborne. Thank you, Kathleen. All the way from Australia, I think that one is. And also Joanne Kitt as well. Thank you, Joanne. So thank you, Joanne. We'd also like to say hello to Liz and Phil, who we did meet down in Ragged Apron as well. Uh, they come from Croydon. Hiya, Liz and Phil. Hi, Liz No, and Phil wasn't there, was no, he? No, it's... Hi, Liz. Liz was there. Wasn't I a good waitress, Liz? Yeah, Sharon actually went behind the jump and uh, done a bit of a uh, taking orders. I think you took Liz's order. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, she's up from Croydon to see her daughter, who um, they own the Tattershall Farm Park. Le Park, we've been there Great before. Great place for young kids. Yeah, Great so um, for children. Do, uh, do have a look at that, people, if you're in the local area or you're staying on the campsite. It's Tattershall Farm Park. It is on the... Um, uh, Google, isn't it? So yeah, just we've been in, there many a time. I think in. we've even got a video. We might have. A, yeah, Tatchell Farm. Park. Do type in there. So anyway, that's Liz and Phil. I thought it's blinking Liz and Phil royalty, Sharon. But yeah, sure, well, highness. Oh no, they're no more. <laughs> no, of course they're not. Of course, well they are. They give them yeah, a regular apron. There you go. David Edwards wishes his daughter Poppy a happy seventh birthday. Happy birthday, Poppy. Happy birthday, Lovely Poppy. Name. And Nikki wishes Mike, her old man, I think that is, a happy birthday on the 13th, which unfortunately happy birthday, has just Mike. gone, oh, Sharon. Happy belated birthday. Yeah. And what's this one here, baby? This was in the Ragged Apron for Oh, us. this is also what was left for us in the Ragged Apron. Hi, Martin, Sharon, Tracy, Stacey and Lee Van Camp. Just a little something to say thank you for your videos. We really enjoy watching. Keep up the good work. We came from Watford after work on Friday and go back on Sunday. We are booked into the Ragged Apron for breakfast on Saturday, that was the day we was there, wasn't it? Yeah, we missed you. We missed we, you, we yeah. Went a bit later. And also, one thirty on Sunday for their roast. Hope you like the uh, candles and melts. And uh, that's from Michelle, Jim, and Bella the dog. Ah, oh, Bella. And what they said this is, oh, you want to smell this, folks? It smells fantastic. These are all like um, scented candles. That's one refreshers. We will be giving them out to. Remember them love hearts? What you used to get at school? I love love hearts. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, they they smell Look. just like them. Look at them. So kind. All these love arts. Yeah, that'd be one of these. We'll, we'll definitely give some to Lee Van Camp because he pongs he a smells, bit. Yeah, he smells, yeah. He pongs stinks. a bit, doesn't he? <laughs> so we've got all them. And we'll uh, definitely give it to Stacey as yeah, well. Yeah, Stacey as well. Gary. Don't forget, we'll, uh, we'll give them but one look, as well. look, it just went on and on. Car fresheners. What's that one? That's a strawberry car air freshener. Like a CD compact disc, if you remember them. And that's, uh, what's his name? Mrs. Brown's Boys ones, look. Anyway, so we've had a great week this week, as you can see within the yeah, video. Thank you very much, everybody. Yeah, Stacey never touched the dick dick shower, did she? No, we didn't see didn't the dick Didn't get to dick. stroke the dick dick at Why all. Why is it pronounced like that, though, if it's pronounced It's got to be shout, it's spelt three letters. I can't, there's another way you can pronounce it, is there? Well, I don't know, you can't, can't you? So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, folks, do take a binge watch of our videos, our backlog, whether it's the cooking videos or the vlogs, if you like a bit of a laugh in the vlogs, and uh, do have a little look at a, a, a binge watch. People have been watching them, they said for hours and hours, Sharon. And then someone said, or a couple of people said, when they feel a bit low, they always put our videos on and it gives them a chuckle. Well, that's the purpose of our videos, folks. And we like to have a little laugh along the way and maybe learn a thing or two yeah. as well. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next video. On Tuesday. And I'll see you after the video. Yeah. Yeah, because we're going to show what we're cooking on our Sunday dinner. I think I've got 13 people for Sunday dinner and it's being done in an air fryer. No big and oven. And induction hob though. Induction hob and air fryers. And no oven. No pressure pot. Well that to me also is an air fryer. It's a pressure pot. That's yeah. going to be cooking the pork. The 15 in one today yeah. is cooking the pork. I have a slow cooker and my beef is in the slow cooker. Yeah. So get tuned in for Tuesday to see how it goes. It could be chaos folks. It loads will be of chaos. There. Anyway, thanks very much. See you in the next video and until then. Bye for now. Bye. Come on, baby. Let's go down the ragged apron. After I'm doing a Sunday roast. Bye.